spet v Kanadi. V deželi losov in lososov in veverički in čipmankov in kanadskih gosi in odlične neodvisne muzike. V deželi, ki je moj drugi dom in upam, da se boste v njem počutili vsaj tako dobro, kot se jaz. V tem kratkem dokumentarcu bom probil pokazati nekaj trinkov iz mojega življenja v Kanadi oziroma iz mojega glasbnega ustvarjanja v Kanadi. In veselim se, da smo spet skupi na posebnih poteh. Sunny songs are all I sing Joy I try to bring Sunny is the word to say When the world turns gray Don't hide away I knew a girl once, she was pushing it so hard, trying to get everything right, but she was somehow lost, and I looked her in the eye, and I knew, oh my god, girl, you can really fly, high, high, so high, shake it down, girl. This kid once, he was trying really hard to get attention of this girl he really liked But he didn't know what to do, he didn't have a clue So I looked him in the eye, and I saw the heart inside Oh, with this heart you can do whatever you want, boy, so go get her Four, five, six, gonna do the tricks Seven, eight, nine, everything's gonna be just fine. Sunny songs are all I sing, the joy I try to bring. Sunny is the word to say when the world turns gray. songs you feel when your heart is real Sunny is the word to say when you try to hide
Bye. Evo, danes primeram pa dve odlični kitarci na potravilo v Toronto, prav v centar, na Danforth Avenue. In ena je, ena je stara 130 let iz Čikaga, in druga je pa stara kakšnih 60 let. In virati, ugradil noter sistem, da jo lahko jih uporabljam tudi na modru. Tole je naša čikaška lepotica Thornward kitare. To so stare, zelo stare, stara znamka kitar, narejena v Čikago in ima tak poseben to pozvok. Evo, tole pa ta druga. Ima pa železno palce vnoter v vratu. In sicer gre za tudi ameriško kitaro Harmony. Kot vidite, je tudi stara stvar. Ampak vesel sem, da bo dobila tukaj en takle pick-up, se reče temu da bom lahko jo preklopil na ozvočenje in potem uporabljal na koncertih. Evo, gremo. Torej, nahajamo se na cesti 401 avtocesta 401, ki gre tako le nad Torontom. 401 East, 401 West. Mi prihajamo iz vzhodne smeri. In hmal bomo prišli do moje najljubše štacunce za brinkala, za kitare in za banjo te in za take stvari. Super stacunca, 12 fret se imenuje. Vsi samo želo, da bi imeli tako, eno tako stacunca v Evropi, ki je v bližini Slovenije, to bi bilo zelo lepo. There's only one thing, you have to move fast here. I'm gonna go south here. Temno doljavi pa že vidimo znameniti CN Tower. To je nekakšna značilnost, znamenitost Toronto, hkrati znamenitost Kanade. Gre pa za najvišji samostoječi stolb na svetu. Evo, zdaj pa smo že na Danforth Avenue in sicer tu je ta avenija, na kateri je moja najljubša štacunca. Evo jo, evo jo, evo jo, evo jo! Kar sem hotel povedati je to, da se mi je na tej aveniji zgodil kakšen let nazaj en od terorističnih napadov, pravzaprav. En tip je prišel noter v v eno gostilno, pa začel strelati po ljudeh in tako naprej. Tako da tudi Toronto ni več toliko varno mesto, kakor je bilo. Toronto je bilo absolutno eno od najbolj varnih mest, takih večjih, glede na to, da je to četrto največje mesto v Severni Ameriki. Zdaj pa je v bistvu porast kriminala in podobnih neprijetnosti predvsej visok. da tudi Toronto ni več to, kaj ima.
Totally. Can we fix it like, um, uh, can we, you guys put a pickup on it, you know, like You have to go upstairs. Uh, Jace, yeah. talk to Jason upstairs, yeah. Yeah? He probably yeah. could do something. Oh, yeah, sure. yeah. Probably yeah. a couple different options for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's the first one. Th that's, yeah, yeah that's, that's a J thing. Yeah, you have to take that upstairs, yeah. Yeah. That's that's sorry. Sorry. Um, was her daughter? Good, good. She's I'm going out she's to Croatia. Croatia. She just got. Well, she's home. Oh, okay. And I was I, I was there in the summer. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I went to. Uh, I was there. Let's see. I was yeah, in, uh, I think, um, maybe a few months ago. again. Flew in to split, and then we just did the island. So I. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 So we just went. Yeah. You know, bar, 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 bar. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's all the yeah, it was yeah. great. The, the, ni the nice stuff. Oh, it was beautiful. The nice was, stuff. Was, yeah. Was fantastic. Yeah. I'm, that was surprising. Whoa. You got this here too, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Do you think uh, that we could put a pickup in there? Let's go upstairs. Get the J right now. Oh, oh like, yeah. Like, all these things I got all when she was like, like, she was just totally exposed. She was like, one of those you can see the same time. Let's make this I know, I know. He said like three weeks or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's great. How's the sales been going? Uh, today was busy, but I mean, the whole week's been dead. No. You never know, right? It's all. It's like in music. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Same stuff, right? Yeah. Oh, we got a sitar there. Yeah. That's been here forever. No way. Yeah. And it's a small one. Yeah, it's sort of a small addition or something. Yeah, it's uh, cause I got one and it's way bigger. You play guitar, is it? Yeah, yeah. And I got a Sirot too. Oh, isn't this great? <laughs> this is so cool, man. Hey, now, yep. I have to order for um, an installation a a K K so the one you are bigger one to go I have to do it. I to do it. I have 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 I 
Torej, prav lepo pozdravljeni v mojem transatlantskem kanadskem studiju, studiju Oš. Tukaj nasta moja muzika in rad bi vas popelil na kratak safari skozi inštrumente, ki jih imam tukaj. Eni so konvencionalni, eni so malo bolj posebni, eni so taki tipično kanadski. Nad mano je les, kar je odličen material za, bi rekel, za zvok. Vedno je hvaležen, vedno odda toploto in zvok je temu primerno topu. Vedno nekako probam biti originalen oziroma, da da imajo pes, da ima vsaka pesa en svoj štih, en svojo, eno svojo, bi rekel, eno svojo barvo, ene svoje inštrumente, ki so tipični prav za določeno, določeno skladbo. In tega se držim že 20 let, odkar sem profesionalno v muziki. Nač, gremo, vam bo malo, malo zaigral, pa da boste malo dobili občutka, kako je, kako je kle na tej strani sveta, glede tega. Evo, tole je pa prav ena taka posebna kitarca, narejena iz škatle za cigare, zato se je tudi reče cigar box guitar in sicer od mojega strica kolega jih dela sam in zdaj vam bom predstavil, kako to zveni. Klele je flaška, klele je šrauf, tako da to je narejen prav tako doma v delavnci. Evo. The beer store. Brez harmonke tudi ne gre, ne? I just want to play something good, you know. Okay.
use snare drum. Uh, I'm a saint. <laughs> Evo, tule pa gimnazija od moje mame. No, se tak je fajn dan za sprehod do ene prvo posebne lokacije, kamor vas zdaj pelam. In to je park moje mladosti. Ne, ve vrce. Glej, tok ve vrce, to je nekaj nevarjetnega. In severnoameriške ve vrce, to so take velike. Zdaj so splošnjem take oddebeljene in debele in zavaljene, kjer se pripravljajo na zimo. In nekak navada je, no, da Vsaka hiška ima eno zalogico kikirikijo, za to, da se jim povedal. Pa jim tam nastavljaš kikirikije, pa tako. To je ena taka lepa navada kanadska. Takole recimo kanadske zastave visijo po sot. To je tudi nekaj, kar je zelo ameriško oziroma Jaz bi rekel, da je tega celo v Kanadi več kot v Ameriki, zaradi tega, ker hočemo pokazati, da nismo Amerikanci. To je problem, če imaš tazga južnega soseda, kot so Američani. Evo, to je to. To je park moje mladosti. Posebno mesto. Za me je zmeri posebno. Tukaj smo se od otroc toliko preigrali, toliko poletnih dni, v vsakem vremenu nima veze, to je tako smo gledali vseeno. Tle je drugač fuzbal, igrišče, smo špilali fuzbal, jasno. Tam je bilo včasih bejzbol igrišče in ga ni več. Kar malo nesrečen, kjer ga ni, smo bejzbol tudi špilali skos. Ga še zdaj, priznam, še zdaj ga igram. Super šport. Tako da nam te mislim, da ga nače nisem, nisem drsem, ali to ni res. Drsem ali tudi jazno. To je bilo, to so bila leta, to so bila taka čudovita, taka bi rekel nedolžna, Pa vno na prehodu, na prehodu iz nedolžnosti leta, od malih nog do kakšnega, kakšnega petnega, ne. To je, to je bila ekipa, no, to je bila ekipa, to je bila ekipa tako, kaj mora biti. Sarah, Kyle, Tommy, Jennifer, Stacy, skratka. Mešana družba, hodili smo na dirke z avtomobili, z njihovimi staršimi, so imeli v garaži in tak naskar, če bo pozna, to so te ogromni, močni avti, ki se pol vozi v krogu in se razbijajo in smo prej. Skratka, take stvari smo počeli in to je vse še danes v tem parku. To je še vse vedno kle, dok to nikoli ne skine.
nahajamo se prav v pristanišču, kaj mora prihajajo čez oceanske ladje. In sicer promet poteka po reki Svetega Lorenca čez Quebec, preko Atlantika, sprav ladja štarta recimo v Evropi, gre prek oceana in pride potem po reki do Ontarijskega jezera, do Sem. In tukaj imamo eno vladjo iz Madejre. Videl sem že vladje iz Afrike, iz Italije, iz Indije, iz posod se pripeljajo. Prav to je prav tako industrijsko pristanišče. Ne gre za neke kruzere ali kar koli. Je pa to vse povezan v bistvu s to industrijo, ki se je oblikovala okrog okrog velikih jezer. Govorimo seveda tudi o ameriški strani, ne samo o kanadski, ampak tudi o mestih, kot so Detroit ali pa Cleveland, pač železarska industrija in razne druge, pač industrijski del Severne Amerike. Kakšne lepe strukture oblikuje vetre. To je neverjetno. Kaj še fajn zrk je tle, tak mrzu, polaren, oster, natančen, prihaja dol iz severa. Is it coming through? Ja. Why not? This obviously works.
Dakle, je pa en plakat od naju Severo iz 23. julija 1985, prosim lepo, in sicer to so pr teti Ani na Štajerskem na mopedu. Jaz sem star enih sedem, ona pa ene tri, ali pa štiri. Naslednji inštrument, ki bi vam ga pa rad predstavil, je pa ne tak dulcimer, kot smo ga kot ga imamo tamle, so se prav, da se po njem toče, ampak tak, da se po njem brenka. To je brenkalni dulcimer in sicer včasih lahko pa to tudi uporabljamo za salamo, da narežemo salamo in jo potem takole postimo. Skratka, zadeva zveni takole. Je pa to tipičen kanadski inštrument. Tako da, ko se gre na sever, na musa, to se pravi losa lovit, takrat se absolutno vzame sabo tudi tale dolci ver. Trenutno stojim pred Robinson's house, to je ena od prvih angliških, staro angliških hiš tukaj v tej okolici in sicer iz leta 1846, to je približno, kar se tiče tega, koliko je kaj staro, to je tako, as old as it gets. Tle težko najdemo kaj, kaj se reši kot recimo 200 let. Tole je naša plaža. Tukaj smo se kot otrot kupali severo sva tle skakala po tehle peščenih sipinah. Dovolj si za njih najbolj primeren dan, mogoče da vam pokažem to poletno vzdušje, ne? Glede na to, da imamo snegec, ampak to je kraj, kaj mora vedno lahko priješ na sprehod in ti bo vedno dober. To je kraj, kjer vedno lahko miriš misli, prideš meditirati malo, se ti vtrne kakšna nova melodija, vidiš kakšno čez oceansko ladjo. In to je v bistvu naše morje na nek način. To je Ontarijsko jezero in veliko je skoraj to kot Jadran. Mi mu rečemo kar more. I don't 
want to meet you in heaven I want to see you today Down by the 7-Eleven On the corner of Edom's and Bay Before I sail away Come, you'll be wearing some silly old blue hipster skirt. We'll just grab some coffee and donuts. We'll dig up the jewels and dirt. And then you'll take off my plaid shirt. We both know our lives are so simple And we both know there's nothing to change And we both know there's nothing to rearrange So please meet me there in heaven In heaven From back steel or borrow Just let him go Come what may Maybe I'll even stay Oh yes, stay And we both know our lives are so simple And we both know there's nothing to change And we both know there's nothing to Ashamed of, so please me. Get me one more coffee. Is that possible? I do you have. Uh, do you have your CD with you or no? CD? Oh, the new one. Yeah. Do you have this? Uh, no. These oh. are songs off my. Oh. The new, the new stuff. Yeah. But you don't have it yet. It's not out yet. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, so this is a preview. The city of rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I found, guys. Look what I found. Uh, concert. Gao, is this your first time in the United States? 
Yeah, that's my first time. I was in the States before, but not performing. Uh, it was great to have you. It was a surprise. You Thank just happened you. to be in Canada, and you made yeah. the trip over here. Yeah, since I ha I'm half Canadian, I just came down from Canada to, to attend this concert, and it was great. Well, you are probably one of the most incredible entertainers because of everything that you do. Uh, you're probably started out as a bassist, bass player, just like Denny Bucar. <laughs> Actually, I started out as a pianist. Oh, okay. Yeah, when I was a kid, right? So, um, and then then I, then I switched to guitar, and then to bass. And uh, you have worked in many different styles. Uh, you've worked in jazz, improvisation. Yeah. Uh, you've worked uh, with uh, philharmonic orchestras. Yeah. Um, All kinds of orchestras. You've actually. done tango. You've done uh, uh, French uh, chanson music, uh, well, ethno ethno sounds. Uh, where does all this creativity come from? I don't know. I just I derive it from my life. You know, it comes from my personal experience of life. Well, you write all your own songs, uh, lyrics and music, which is uh, mm -hmm. truly remarkable. How, what, how would you describe your music to someone who's never heard it before? Well, it's, uh, it's a mixture of things, I'd say. But it's very personal, almost confessional. It's very personal. Yeah, you know, it's, it's hard to explain because I, I mix all different genres, you know. I just I just put into songs whatever the song needs, right? So each song is a, a little miniature world of itself. I mean, you're I mean. you're also recognized as a poet, and yeah. I know that some of the most beautiful uh, pop songs uh, have been have had lyrics written by poets, and um, certainly uh, yeah. you're a, you're a great example of that. Thank it's not just much. the melodies, but the the lyrics and the snow we used to have. Remember the snowy, snowy winters? Yeah? 78, yeah. Yeah, 52. <laughs> no. 13, 19, right? <laughs> yeah, so this one is called Snow. Oh, we'll again be clear. Pozdrave iz nočnega Toronta. Lučke so se že požgale.
Torej, lepe pozdrave izpred kanadske nacionalne radijene televizijske hiše in z veseljem sporočam, da moje nove skladbe že vrtijo na njihovih valovih. Je pa tukaj tudi en odličen studio, ki se imenuje studio Glena Gulda. Glen Gulda je pa en od najbolj znanih klasičnih pionistov v zgodovini. Tako da gremo ga pogledati. Srička Gulda. Glenn is a good man. <laughs> Glenn is a good man. Matere Mrasko Pas. Za mano je kanadski nacionalni stol Psyen Tower. Um, piha, mrz je in uh, ko mi čakam, da grem nekam noter na toplo. Evo, dragi moji, tukaj je pa arena, kjer se igra najboljši hokej na svetu. pa sem na toplem. Evo, včasih je kar malo, kar malo za zebe tole do kosti. Spravim pravzaprav zelo rad Toronto, zaradi tega, kjer je tako preprosto mesto in glede na to, koliko je ogromno, se ne počuteš, da si nula. Ker pri teh ogromnih mestih se hitro začneš počutiti, kot da si manj kot nač. Toronto je pa tako zelo prijazno osebno obvladljivo mesto, vsaj zamez, sicer sem že dolg tukaj, ampak je nekako je obvladljivo, to je mogoče najboljši izraz, ki se ga lahko, ki ga lahko dodelim in zaradi tega je tudi bolj prijazno od kakšnega Mexico City ali pa mogoče LA. Skratka, če imate radi veliko mesto, pa če se radi dobro počutite, prijte v Toronto. Muzika